Our next inductee into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame is 6ABC's David Murphy. We all know Dave as the dedicated weekday meteorologist for Action News Mornings and Action News at Noon, but before Mr. Murphy was ever a reporter or weatherman, he was a busy child actor. Starting at the age of 12, little David Murphy is credited for being in 57 TV commercials and kissing Jodie Foster in a screen test for the musical Tom Sawyer. Moving out of the wonder years and into his college years, David graduated from Temple University, where he received a Bachelor of Arts degree in communications. In 1984, he would be the first Temple student to win a national scholarship for the Radio Television News Directors Association. Right after graduation in 84, David landed his first news reporting position at WFMZ-TV in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Three years later, no longer a rookie to reporting, David would start a winding station tour that continued from WNEP-TV in Wilkesbury, Scranton, to WMAR-TV in Baltimore, Maryland, and WJZ-TV, also in Baltimore. In 1990, David Murphy joined the legendary Action News team in Philadelphia, where he would start out as a general assignment reporter covering memorable news assignments, including the Oklahoma City Federal Building bombing and the attacks against the World Trade Center in 1993 and 2001. But you could say David was always born to do the weather. He expanded his role through the years to become one of the region's most trusted forecasters. David has also covered hurricanes in North Carolina and Louisiana, as well as a major tornado outbreak in Oklahoma. In 2004, David earned his seals of approval from both the American Meteorological Society and the National Weather Association. He also holds a certificate in broadcast meteorology from Mississippi State University. David is a longtime Phillies fan and can often be spotted with his children and friends at the ballpark. If you see him around town, don't be afraid to call him by the nickname he's grown to love. Go Murph! Action News meteorologist David Murphy. Go Murph! Go Murph! It gives us great pleasure to salute 6ABC meteorologist David Murphy as we welcome him into our Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. Uh, this is really quite an honor for me, and uh, especially given the, the great array of honorees that we have tonight, and uh, I, I really am humbled by it, honestly. Although, in a way, I feel that you're really just recognizing the great fortune that I've had in my life. I've been a very, very lucky guy. I was super lucky to get this child acting thing going when I was a kid. I mean, that really paved the way to everything else. And uh, I, I was super lucky to get to make out with actresses like Jodie Foster, because, you know, that, that kind of paved the way to everything. Well, it didn't really, but it, it was fun, though, so that, that, that's good. Um, when I finally decided to give up the actresses and the acting and focus on broadcast journalism, I was really, really lucky to be at Temple University at that time. Uh, yeah. yeah. And in fact, in the room tonight are some of the professors and people like Betsy Liebrun and Luke Klein who actually instructed me. I would not be here today without Temple. So, Lou, Betsy, thank you so much. And when I finally got into TV, I was super lucky to get a job at 6ABC eventually. That was actually my dream job. My, my goal coming out of college was to stay here at home in Philadelphia and get a job at Channel 6 as a reporter. And, uh, you know, I, I look back at all of this and I just think, wow, I mean, how did all this happen in a way? But, uh, you know, a lot of dominoes had to fall in, in the right order for that to happen. Um, and then I get in the door and, and a couple of years later they're like, hey, you want to try weather? I mean, you know, so now I've got this great job. It's, it's just, uh, it's kind of a miracle. I want to uh, pay homage and uh, point out uh, and, and, and thank uh, my, my managers here. Uh, Tom Davis was here earlier. My general manager, he's my news director, my general manager, Bernie Prezenica, who was the guy who came up with the Yo Murph idea. <laughs> that was genius, thank you. And my assistant news director, Amy Morris, uh, the three of you just couldn't be better for me. You are the, the best 
triple play of, uh, of people I've ever had supporting me and giving me the, the tools I need, and, and more importantly, giving the whole morning team the, t the tools and the support we need to, uh, to do what we do. So I thank you so much, and I know I'm speaking for everybody. And then my morning team, Matt O'Donnell, Tam Edwards, who, who is actually interviewing Trevor, Trevor Noah tonight, I think, so she had to cut out early. She was in the pregame. Um, Karen Rogers, uh, Matt O'Donnell, Tam, and also Matt Pellman, who is a, a big part of our family and an intricate part of what we do in the morning. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I could stand here and talk about how it's just so wonderful to, you know, work with such consummate professionals, blah, 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 but that's boring. So what I'm going to say is this. I want to thank you guys for being great, real people. You are so much fun to be around. There's not an ego among you. And, you know, that sort of stereotypical thing that people get in their heads about TV people, you guys don't come close. You're just really great, great companions, and I love you all, one and all, very much. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Thanks. And then finally, there's my family, and the guys on the morning show and gals know this, but when... Uh, you know, the jobs have been great, and this career has been wonderful, and I really do uh, appreciate being honored in this way tonight. But the thing that's always made me the most proud and the most happy is the fact that I've got this really cool family. These guys are uh, just, uh, hi, Sam. <laughs> These guys are just really great. We have fun together, and we've been together a long time, and just really enjoy each other's company. And my kids really wanted to be here tonight, and it wasn't easy to get us together. My daughter, Samantha, flew in from Seattle. My son, uh, Tim, flew up from Atlanta. <laughs> and most impressive of all, my youngest son, Andrew, made it all the way over on a Friday night from his dorm room at Temple University. <laughs> right? College on a Friday night. I mean, wow. So it wouldn't be the same without you guys here. Finally, my wife, Barbara. Uh, Barbara has been... I think she's got the toughest job in the room. Some of you are going to understand what I mean when I say this. She, for almost 30 years, has been a news widow and in every facet of what that means. But honey, you've stuck with me. You've been my, my major pillar of support. And uh, of course, I guess it's worked out because in May we're gonna celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary, aren't we? <laughs> I love you, Bird. Thank you so much for being so supportive for so long for me. And thank you so much, broadcast pioneers. This is really just so kind of you. I really appreciate it.